What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dylan Talks Tone. Today's kind of fun. This guitar is Neato. This is a Texas Toast. I guess they call it their daily driver. I don't think they make too many of these anymore, but it's a telly, right? And uh, it, this one's a swamp ash body, maple neck, rosewood fretboard. You've seen it in a couple of videos already if you're subscribed to the channel. And if you're not, please do, because we did, this will be the third video we've done on this guitar. Um, my buddy Doug owns this. He dropped it off a few, well, a couple months ago, and he was like, hey, can you do something? I want to put a neck pickup in here, but I don't want to ditch the cool Johnny Switchblade custom pick guard because this, this guitar for him and for many of us who know Texas Toast kind of has a story, and he, he didn't want to ditch that pick guard. The guitar came originally with just a regular Tele pickup and uh, no controls. So it literally had like no knobs, no switch, no nothing. Just straight out to the jack, which is kind of fun, but also not very useful. So, um, well, I guess not useful to him anyway. He said, can you develop some sort of under the pick guard pickup? I've played a bunch of different ones uh, that have been tried over the years and I never really liked them that much. Um, so I, I messed around. I'd, I'd played some stuff. I worked with somebody who used to work at Fender and he had some prototypes laying around and I got to measure that stuff and play around with some of that stuff. So I, I goofed around with that. And I took a little bit of my own curve on it too and, uh, came up with something and you've probably seen it in the videos before, but basically what we did uh, is we used neodymium magnets, which I've never used on a pickup before. Um, and basically what I had to do is route about an eighth of an inch depth into here so that it would fit all the way down in the guitar with the pick guard on top. Um, and what that allows us to do with a little, about half inch of string height, you know, because the pick guard the pickups underneath there, right? So you have about half inch, um, is to basically retain a very similar gauge reading to what um, a normal tally pickup has. And so it, it works. <laughs> Now, does it sound like a vintage Tele neck pickup? No. Uh, however, it sounds really good. Uh, one of the things I was worried about going to such a strong magnet, when you up magnet power, a lot of times what will happen is the frequency response of the pickup will change and it will become, in my opinion, a little bit brittle, a little bit, um, it, can be, it can lose some of the bottom end characteristics. Uh, this did not do that at all, which is really wild. And I think what it has to do with is balancing the distance with the strength of the magnet, which is really interesting. Um, I'm not going to give away everything, wine counts and all that kind of stuff, because we don't do that here. But uh, let me just say it took some messing around. I wound a few of them and cut them apart and tried them again, but it, it worked. And um, it's, it's really cool. And uh, listen to the overall balance with the bridge pickup. So there's a, there's a little difference there, but I guess that would kind of be expected. Um, one of the other things that I found very interesting with this is that brittleness that I don't like with a really strong magnet kind of goes away because A, the distance from the strings, and B, it goes underneath the pickup. 
Picard. So it, the whole thing kind of turned out super balanced and the thing's really fun. It's a really fun guitar to play. I, um, I've been playing it for the last few days since I got it done and it, it's, it's just kind of a blast. Um, so now we have a normal neck middle bridge set up here. We have one of our flat six pickups. This is actually one of the custom ones from our, um, uh, from our Saturday pickup drops that we do these little short runs. And uh, yeah, I adjusted it a little lower than normal to get a little bit of the balance there. I think overall it works really well. Um, I have, I played around and the more windings you put on it, you could wind it super hot. You could do all kinds of stuff. It just, the character sort of went away. This does sound like a Tele neck pickup still. Um, and I, I really like it. I think it's really fun. Am I gonna make it for other folks? I don't know. Yeah, so it was a really fun experiment. Um, I'm not sure uh, if it's something that I'm gonna put into production or not, I don't know. I don't know how much demand would be for it. Get in the comments and let me know if you've got a guitar laying around that you wanna put an Esquire pick guard on and you wanna stick something underneath there, knowing that you do have to route an eighth of an inch out of there and stick it below the pick guard. Um, but we could make them. They're, the magnets are kind of expensive, so it'd be a little bit more than a regular neck pickup. But yeah, this is a super fun thing and I, I really enjoyed doing it. Let me know what you think. Get in the comments, uh, say hello. Let me know what you think of this idea. It's kind of crazy, uh, but it was fun. Fun experiment, fun project, and I think Doug is really gonna like this guitar. Uh, do me a favor and check out our uh, pickups at dylantalkstone.com. Check out the Saturday drops. They come out every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern time and uh, with some little special short run stuff, stuff that we don't always make. I think you'll dig that stuff as well. Oh, and merch and all kinds of other stuff too. That uh, little short special edition stuff comes out every Saturday at 9 a.m. So thanks for hanging out. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Let me know what you think of this in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.